The Philippine Air Force has started to make its final chance to push for the acquisition of new multi-role fighter aircraft as securing funding for modernization projects has reached the final months. In our previous video, the Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group has selected the Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 Viper and was already submitted to the Department of National Defense for approval by the national government. But with new information from the Philippine Air Force and the defense industry, the technical working group for the multi-role fighter acquisition project has revised its recommendation and goes with the Saab JAS 39C and D-Series Gripen fighter aircraft. In this video, we will look at the reasons behind the changes of the Philippine Air Force multi-role fighter aircraft acquisition project. With Saab JAS 39C and D-Series is in the spotlight, we will look at the cost and most importantly, we will look at the advantages, capabilities, and when we could see it in action. Three zero one, Freedom Marshal, K three recovery, CB one approach, expected final bearing three three one, altimeter three zero zero one, three zero one, Marshal one seven zero, twenty four angels niner. The Technical Working Group for the Multi-Role Fighter Acquisition Project has revised its recommendation and goes with the Saab JAS-39 Gripen fighter aircraft. This was approved by Philippine Air Force leadership, led by Commanding General Paredes, as well as the Armed Forces of the Philippines, led by General Sobahana. If the information provided to Max Defense Philippines is correct, this has been already passed to the Department of National Defense, which now has the ball in securing final approval from the President, to secure funding requirements. Way back in 2019, the Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group has selected the Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 Viper and was already submitted to the Department of National Defense for approval by the national government. The Philippine Air Force was said to stick to the original plan, as negotiations continued with the U.S. government and Lockheed Martin with the F-16 Viper deal. In the process, the offer made by Lockheed Martin was for 12 units of new F-16 Block 70 Viper, as well as to for units used F-16D Block 30 or Block 40 Fighting Falcon, hot transferred from the U.S. Air National Guard. If the contract was signed and notice to proceed were released by early 2020, Deliveries were said to be made, starting 2024, for the F-16 Block 70 Vipers, although hot transfer of used F-16 Block 30, or Block 40 Fighting Falcons, will be made within one to two years from the release of notice to proceed, which is somewhere around 2021 or 2022. Based on the information provided in 2019, the offer made by the U.S. government was to be transacted through U.S. Foreign Military Sales Program and would cost higher than the 61.2 billion pesos budget proposed by the Philippine Air Force. The figures received back in 2019 was close to $1.4 billion, or 70 billion pesos, which is almost 9 billion pesos off the Philippine Air Force budget. This excludes munitions. While the Philippine Air Force selected the U.S. offer for F-16 Vipers, funding has become a problem. The Department of National Defense was asked to find ways to add more funding to the multi-role fighter acquisition project, on top of the 61.2 billion pesos approval back in 2018. But also by the second quarter of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected the Philippine government spending and economic output and the government was pressed to divert funds to pandemic-related expenses. This has not just affected the multi-role fighter acquisition project, but several other projects of the revised AFP modernization program that were even in more advanced stages than the multi-role fighter project. This also made it impossible for the national government to allocate more funding to the multi-role fighter acquisition project based on the F-16 proposal and it has become apparent that the project will stall. In 2020, Lockheed Martin came back with a revised proposal. Since the issuance of the contract has been pushed back by a year, their previous pricing and delivery commitments cannot be honored and have to be adjusted. 
The new proposal from Lockheed Martin for 12 new F-16 Block 70 Vipers has gone up and is now closer to $1.6 billion or 78 billion pesos, excluding munitions. Delivery was also pushed back for the first batch from 2024. It has been moved to 2025 to 2026, if the contract and notice to proceed have been signed and released by early 2021. No changes were made on the hot transfer delivery of used F-16 Fighting Falcons, which remains at one to two years from NTP release. With these new developments, it has become apparent that the allocated funding for the MRF acquisition project is not enough and is short by almost 17 billion pesos, following Lockheed Martin's latest offer. The Philippine Air Force was asked to return to the drawing board, if it still wishes to continue with the project, as it has become apparent that getting additional funding would not be possible in the next two to three years due to poor economic activity of the country and funding issues with the government. A few options have been looked at by the Department of National Defense and Philippine Air Force. This includes revising its selection and reopen negotiations with Saab and see if their previous offer with the Saab JAS-39 Gripen could hold ground or could even be made better. Or looking at diverting funds from the MRF acquisition project and instead look at the possibility of acquiring additional FA-50 Fighting Eagle, a light combat aircraft from South Korea Aerospace Industries, which costs less than half of the MRF project. This is considering the acquisition of more FA-50 light combat aircraft is planned under the original horizon to proposal before funding was reduced to 300 billion pesos and the Philippine Air Force revised the program. Another option was to move the project to Horizon 3 phase and wait for the next administration to continue this program. Pushing the project back to Horizon 3 was not an acceptable option, considering the Philippine Air Force is expected to request and procure more multi-role fighters in that phase. Pushing the Horizon to MRF project to Horizon 3 would affect their ability to procure more multi-role fighter and meet their targets by end of Horizon 3 and while acquiring more F-A-50 is among the options. It was not a popular decision among Philippine Air Force leaders and Air Defense Command leaders and officers. The point of acquiring the F-A-50 back in the Horizon 1 phase was to prepare the Philippine Air Force for multi-role fighters under the Horizon 2. Getting more F-A-50 without making a significant jump to more capable aircraft does not make sense. The best option among the three options is to renegotiate with Saab and try to push down Saab's proposed cost to make it acceptable to the national government. There is not enough details on how negotiations between the Department of National Defense and Swedish government, but an agreement was reached by the second quarter of 2021. According to Philippine Air Force and industry sources, the Philippine Air Force Technical Working Group for the MRF acquisition project, has Ray submitted its recommendation, selecting Saab's offer, and was approved by Philippine Air Force and the General Headquarters of the Armed Forces of the Philippines for submission to the Department of National Defense. Twelve new Saab JAS-39 Gripen fighters will be supplied by Saab, plus an additional two units would be provided free of charge. All fighters would be upgraded to the latest MS-20 standard software, representing a significant increase in operational capability. With improved combat systems and avionics, including the use of the latest PS-05 Mark for Fire Control Radar. Although there is no actual figure for the agreed price, sources confirm that it is slightly less than the 61.2 billion pesos budget allocated for the project. Contrary to what was believed back in 2018, Saab will not include any airborne early warning and control aircraft, similar to its deal with Thailand in the past. The proposal was already submitted to the Department of National Defense as of early June 2021, and Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana himself was said to be very supportive of the project. This is currently the most expensive defense project ever to be undertaken by the Philippine government. While the F-16 Block 70 Viper was the more superior aircraft, compared to the JAS-39 Gripen, that does not mean it's a weak aircraft. 
It only means that the Viper edges the Gripen in several features and capabilities due to its improvements compared to previous generation F-16 variants, which also made it more expensive than the Gripen variant. The Gripen has several features where it outshines the F-16 Block 70 Viper. The current JAS-39 Gripen being offered to the Philippine Air Force is said to be in the latest MS-20 standard software and includes the PS-05 Mark for Pulse Doppler Radar, which is considered among the best non-ISFIR control radar for fighter aircraft in the world. The Mark for variant has made significant improvements over older variants of the PS-05 radar, including improved range, ability to detect low radar cross-section targets, enhanced jammer suppression, and improved missile lock performance. The JAS-39 Gripen is cheaper to procure than the F-16 Block 70 Viper. This allows savings in initial procurement costs, the Gripen's low operating cost, quick turnaround time, fewer requirements for infrastructure and manpower, and simplicity of overall operation. This means savings in sustainment, compared to the F-16 Block 70 Viper in every flight hour, reduced and simplified crew requirements, and most likely cheaper maintenance. Saab claims that a team led by one technician and five semi-skilled personnel can rearm, refuel, and turn around a single Gripen fighter, configured for air-to-air -air mission in 10 minutes, which is not expected to be possible with the F-16 Viper. The Gripen uses the same engine design as the Philippine Air Force F-50, the Volvo RM12 turbofan engine, which is essentially a version of the GEF for O4 engine that is already familiar with the Philippine Air Force maintenance and logistics team. The JAS-39 Gripen being offered is the C and D series, which has a crew of one in JAS-39 C series and a crew of two in JAS-39 D series. With fuel capacity of 3,000 liters, it has a combat range of 800 kilometers and ferry range of up to 3,000 to 100 kilometers and has a maximum speed of up to 2,460 km per hour, or Mach 2. The Philippine Air Force confirmed that Saab guaranteed the delivery of the first for to six aircraft within 18 months after contract signing and release of notice to proceed. If Philippine Air Force signs up for an MRF by 2021, it means the Philippine Air Force could get their Gripen starting in 2023, far earlier than the F-16 Viper delivery time, which is around for years or in 2025, despite the variant being offered, already superseded by a new one, in the form of the JAS-39 E and F-Series. Saab has committed to fully support the continued development and improvement of the Saab JAS-39 C and D-Series Gripen through the next 30 years. Captain it. 